Hi, my name is Karen E. Wells and welcome to this fully accredited professional psychotherapy course. Now, let's move on to module one now. You've listened to the introduction. You will have been able to download or have access to the training manual. So make sure that you've got that because it's really important to work through the training manual um, as well as watching the videos. The way that we create the videos is that they are just simply really a highlight of what's included within the training manual. Because psychotherapy is such a big subject, um, we're giving you the highlights of each module um, by video, but the main information is contained within the psychotherapy training manual. So it's really important that you do um, download and have a copy of that so that you can work through it, especially when you're looking to the self-assessment parts at the end of each module. Okay, so let's look at, first of all, module one, what is psychotherapy? So, of course, it's very much in a way like counselling or CBT. It's a successful and a popular talking therapy. But the main thing that you need to have to make it very successful for your client is incredible listening skills. Now, if you're already a therapist, this will be something that's very natural to you. But if you're starting out, it's incredibly important that you take the time out to just kind of sit back and let the client talk and find that you're actually listening quite intensely to them as you, as you do so. Now you'll need to have the ability to draw the information from the client without pressurizing them or interrogating them. They've come to you for professional guidance and it might be for a wide variety of problems um, and you're going to help them deal with this psychological problems through the communication that's going to exist between you as a therapist and your client. Okay, so most of the time you're going to find that when you're working in the psychotherapy field, you're doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. You can use it for group therapy too, but most of the time it's going to be on a one-to-one -one session. So you might ask yourself, why would a client go to psychotherapy? Why would they go to a psychotherapist? Well, of course, some clients just need to talk. Some people really come from the stance that, you know, maybe they've never been allowed to express themselves. They're not in a partnership where they can talk freely, or maybe they don't have a, a network of friends where they can really share um, their deepest thoughts, their secrets, whatever it is that they feel that they're holding on to. So they come to you as a psychotherapist to actually just talk. They want to be able to share those feelings with somebody outside of their personal circle. And, you know, maybe some of the clients that you're going to see will actually have nobody at all. So it's a very important relationship on a professional stance that you're taking with your client. Okay, so it's time limited. So that makes it very highly focused. You treat all clients in an attentive and professional manner. Once they start talking, of course you listen. You're going to be taking notes as they're talking all the way to you about why they've, want to, why they've come to see you, um, what it is that uh, you know, they want help with. And you, of course, as a psychotherapist, are making those notes. You might want to actually record the session for them. Um, some clients might not want that. And remember, we're going to touch on confidentiality. Um, but, you know, that could be a possibility as well. So you're helping your client to understand uh, their inner conflicts, their thought processes, their negative situations and they, their behaviours. OK, um, so no two days for you, even really no two clients are going to be the same in psychotherapy. OK, so let's have a look furthermore into this module. You're going to try to understand a client's thought processes, feelings and behaviours. You're going to find that when you see them, they're in a state of perhaps inner turmoil. You're going to assist them in finding the improved ways in which to live their lives, helping them to manage their stress more effectively or being able to resolve their issues. And of course, some clients that come to see you are, may have experienced some depressing 
or distressing events and you're going to be able to help them with all of this. So the course is going to give you the confidence to do that. Okay, now there's a no-go area when it comes to psychotherapy. So for a successful session and a professional relationship, there are boundaries that you cannot cross. There might be a temptation to forge a stronger bond by sharing your own experiences that you feel might help open communication, but you must maintain that the situation, the relationship that you have is completely professional and therefore you do not share your own personal issues. It's entirely about the client. So this is a really important aspect. Confidentiality as well is important. You'll be told things that, you know, you have to keep within the four walls of your therapy room. So you've got to be, they've got to be able, the client has to feel as if they can be honest um, without a fear of offending others. And that's going to include you as well. So if you know the client's um, specific issues, of course, you can begin to prepare in advance. You can ascertain the types of questions you're going to ask that's going to lead the session more effectively um, and you're going to have a unique understanding of how you can help your client. So let's look at some psychotherapy tips. We've mentioned um, listening before, but this is, of course, one of the most important aspects of psychotherapy. And you must ensure that your mind as the therapist is clear from any negative thoughts doubts or feelings before you do so. So you're focusing only on the client. Let's have a look at confrontation. So this might sound an unlikely technique, but it could be a useful one. When you confront a client, you don't do it in anger um, because they've got to be prepared to listen to you and to consider your viewpoint. Now, this type of con uh, situation would occur because you've detected um, a, an anomaly in an earlier conversation with your client. This is purely to express confusion and to gain a better understanding with them, with a view, of course, to helping. So other psychotherapists might use a less direct route, um, but of course the techniques and the questions are going to be up to you. Let's look at clarification. There's another technique this is another technique that's designed to gain information from the client. Many clients will struggle with their communication, be unable to, do, to express, as we spoke about before, their beliefs, their fears, their concerns, their issues. But when you use clarification, you make them clarify it first for themselves, and by doing so, they work back through their own problems. The key is not to make the client feel as if you're interrogating them. Okay. So again, remember there's lots more information within the training manual, but you'll find now at the end of module one, there's a self-assessment task. So take your time over that. Again, it's not to submit to us here, but it's just for you, for your own learning, to make sure that you've covered everything in module one. Once you've done that, we're going to be moving to module two, which is all about the brain and the hormones. Have a great day.